What's going on, guys? Amazing Minds is here to entertain, inform, and educate you. And we presently do that in two segments, the Monday show and the Bible Talks segment. Monday show, which airs every Monday, 22 hours Central African time, uh, right here on YouTube. And uh, the podcast is available at 20 hours on Mondays. We do know that also, as a country, we are going through a rough patch, uh, energy-wise. And this means that you will sometimes get the show late, even though it ideally airs on Mondays and Bible Talks airs on Fridays, which sometimes you get late, but ideally airs on uh, Fridays at the same times I gave you 22 hours and 20 hours. Um, however, the Monday show is not Monday show because it airs on Monday, but that's the name of the segment. I've said repeatedly, but I'll say again. And um, also, I'm just here to urge you guys to subscribe. Uh, we're going to show you actual footage in this episode of Zesco descending upon us, the show is not going to end abruptly, deliberately. Uh, power actually went while we're shooting and I'm actually recording this after having done the episode. Yeah, but we do honestly hope that you enjoy the show, that you are excited to see us upload content. We promise we'll increase how much content we upload over time, but that will best happen by your support. The more you subscribe, the more you give us the ability to bring this show to you with a better quality and better frequency and the full vision would unfold right before your eyes. But this is all made possible by the hopes of your support and the hopes of the millions we will reach one day. Here at Amazing Minds, know that you are loved and enjoy the show. For one subscriber, <laughs> our fathers are in the grave for this nonsense. <laughs> ah, refusing to comment on Mr. Chofaya's comments right now. Uh, yeah, but the show is available Mondays and Fridays, twice a week, 22 hours Central African time on YouTube, and the podcast is available 20 hours Central African time, same days, Fridays and Mondays. That's Spotify for podcasters. Be clear about that. It's not Spotify, but Spotify for podcasters. Many people uh, search Spotify for the show and don't find it. And then they'll be like, oh, you guys said the show was on Spotify. It's on Spotify for podcasters. And the link is in the description as well. If you want to check out the podcast for those that like listening while driving or while cooking, washing and all that kind of stuff. The podcast is good. I've listened to, for the first time, I listened to one of our audio podcasts this past week. Okay. It's actually good. Oh, okay. We have nice voices. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with Mr. Chofire. King Commando. How are you doing, sir? Super bad. <laughs> Black belt and uh, Black sensei belt and whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> All those kinds of things. Yeah. yeah. Um, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm you good? good? How are you doing? Yeah, I'm a blessed guy. Okay. Feeling a little tired, but uh, I'm blessed. Oh, I heard you you attended a crusade. Ah, 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 it was powerful. Hubert Angel is in the country. Ah, ah, ah. Hubert. Oh, Hubert. The same guy for the... Ah, ah. You don't have to go there. <laughs> Thank you so much. 
Yeah, no, we were with the prophet to Christianity. He was, uh, it was an interesting, uh, an interesting night. Yeah. yeah. Catch uh, Bible talks right here, uh, mostly every Friday, ideally, but every week you have. Mm. Mm. Yeah, there you have it. And please do subscribe. <laughs> yeah. And you saw Vibes Katim? Oh, yeah, he's out. Yeah, but you saw his uh, disfigurement. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like we talked about this, did we? I think no. I I, mentioned, I remember telling you that his head has doubled in size. Oh, was really? it you I was talking to? No, I don't. Maybe it wasn't. It. Yeah. Oh, I saw. I saw. He came oh. out with a head and body parts. Yeah, he seems to be uh, suffering from something. Of course, they are, his doctors have said he's got a heart problem. And yeah, there are all these diseases that he has uh, mm-hmm. come out with. I also got the update on his general case, mm-hmm. why he was released. Mm. Uh, because the the jury was compromised in the initial yeah yeah I got that too. yeah so hey the whole world and they said that uh, the, the time he could maning you and then his health as well yeah yeah so they're they saying he would die in eh yeah, to retry it yeah <laughs> that's crazy but a lot of people believe that that guy was like a, a very serious menace in society yeah of course yeah and a lot of people also worship him. Yeah, they believe that he's actually innocent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we are discussing a couple of things on the show today. Uh, Guntila Mulea murder case update. Um, yeah. Then uh, just on that one. Okay. Uh, shout out to Suilanji Simwanza. Yay! The today we are giving you the names. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, Mr. Suilanji. Today we are giving you the names. Uh, we're not hiding anything from you. In fact. Thank you for emboldening us. <laughs> you have finally given us the courage we needed. Uh, we don't know why we didn't add you to the committee for starting the podcast. <laughs> Same as in Sandal and Bruce Charles. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All you guys will love you. We love yeah. you. We need to have you on the show one day. Exactly. One day. We'll plan for it. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you so much, Mr. Simons. I will give you the names today and we'll also uh, be unbridled going forward because uh, <laughs> yeah. he said at least even if you are fearing anything at least just say alleged yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah and also but, the the name has rubbed off everyone's calling you chafaya now ah anyway. <laughs> <laughs> thanks to you and yeah. Uh, siri oh yeah uh, thanks to siri <laughs> Yes, yeah, so uh, Guntila Mlea, murder case update, and then we'll move on to JJ Bande escaping, JJ Banda escaping police custody uh, in an unexpected twist. We'll also give you his whereabouts. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the, then the cost of living sees a light, a slight increase. I, I, I read that as light of day for some reason. A slight mm. increase. And then Fred Membe arrested. And then there was light. Yeah. And then there was light. Fred Membe has been arrested. Uh... It's never strange news. Yeah. It's never strange news. And most he's arrested for the things that he says on social media. Oh, yeah, definitely. And it's like a quarterly mm. arrangement. Every quarter he has to <laughs> yeah. go inside. And his wife was so wroth. We'll show you the video here. Not as bad as Sylvia must say. Well, of course, there was no one tapping her shoulder to, her to stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And also speaking about uh, it being a quarterly thing. Yeah. Uh, I saw his, the, their lawyer, their legal counsel. Uh, Simon Mr. Mlenga. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, is it Simon Mlenga or Simon? Simon Mwila Mlenga. Oh, eh? Mwila Mlenga. Simon Mlenga Mwila. Yeah, yeah, Simon yeah. Mlenga Mwila. He posted a picture, a very funny picture. It it seemed mm-hmm. funny to me, but also uh very interesting. Yeah. That uh so the picture that was taken of the day that he was at the police. Yeah. Uh there was a cop in the picture. Mm. That picture that cop happens to be the same cop who was in a picture where he was also at the police representing uh, the same Fred member and the same cop was in the picture. Yeah. <laughs> like a year ago. <laughs> oh, uh-uh, serious? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. I hope you can find the picture and just put stuff here. Yeah. We'll, it was very interesting. We'll find it. Send it to me. Okay. There you have it. Yeah. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah. <very> interesting. <laughs> yeah uh, four of the suspects in the... Um, Guntila Mulea murder case, the IBA director general, former now late, have been charged with murder uh, out of the five that were arrested. And news reaching us as well is that, by the way, before we go further, I need to mention that all our opinions and everything we say on this show is for entertainment purposes only, really. And if you have checked the description on the channel, it says comedy show. I don't know if Sri Lanka is going to like it. <laughs> <laughs> or he might not like it. He might not like it. But it's all for entertainment purposes. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, four of the five suspects have been 
charged with murder and we're being told that uh, an extra suspect is being looked for. The police gave us a statement on the same, uh, explaining further details on the names, as Mr. Simons wanted to hear. Mm -hmm. Check it out. The suspect that we had in the case involving the murder of the Independent Broadcasting Authority, IBA, we officially charged four of them, namely Dokowe Baza Mututuz, Mutu, Mutu Sani, Mel Zule Alex Kalib, uh, Samuel Gaza Dokowe, and Francis Pioca were all officially charged and arrested for one count of murder under Section 200 of the Penal Code Act of the of the Laws of Zambia. We further again charged the following Dokoe Bazam Tutuzani, Mel uh, Zulu Caleb Alex, and Samuel Baza Dokoe for the offense of aggravated robbery. Mo, mo, mot, mo. <laughs> <laughs> mo, mo. <laughs> yeah, just to be clear to all those who want us to say the names, yeah. since the police have said it, but the way he said it, it was like he was a bit nervous. It was neither here nor I heard him saying Zule instead of yeah. Zul. Oh, he was nervous, eh? Yeah. So there's a Mtutani uh, Dokowe Baza, or Mtutani Baza Dokowe, yeah. who is he? apparently a brother to Samuel Mtutani, or Samuel, uh, Samuel Dokowe Baza. Okay. Or Samuel Baza Dokowe. Who's that? Uh, one of the suspects. Oh. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. So there's Samuel. You mean the two yes, are brothers? the two brothers. Okay. You know, yes. I thought you were saying he's someone famous. Ah, no. Uh, okay. I don't okay. know if he's famous. Okay. Okay. <laughs> he's not famous <laughs> in my world. <laughs> oh, I just got like lost just there. Yeah. There's also Alex Caleb Zulu, who he called Zule. Mm -hmm. Then there's uh, the famous Francis Chipioka from the... Uh, I would like to believe the Mr. Zulu is a brother to a lawyer. Yeah. yeah, that's what we hate. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, that's why it's important that uh, we don't mention the names if it's not coming from the police. Ah, uh, no, definitely. That's because why if it's a lawyer, we'll just say lawyer. Uh, no, I'm not talking about that, by the way. Yeah. That's okay. You can mention the lawyer, my friend. <laughs> it's alleged. <laughs> it's alleged that he's a brother yeah. to Makebi Zulu. Yeah, yeah he's a brother to Makebi Zulu. We've all heard that uh, they are saying that he could be a brother to Makebi Yeah, Mr. Sulanji. It's okay. alleged that he is the brother to Mr. Makebi Yeah. <laughs> or they are related somehow. <laughs> or they are related yeah. through brothership. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was saying it's important to wait for the police to mention the names because there's one person who was mentioned. Uh, he was arrested together with them. Mm -hmm. But now he's, he's, he's not, not been charged, charged with money. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Because we had the names. Because yeah. Because that's why we knew that oh, there were two and, brothers. Oh, uh, and pictures. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So the way we had the names is because at these police stations, when they arrest these people, they register them. Yeah. So the people are registering them. If this is something in a public domain, they want to be the first ones to review the news. So they just take a screenshot in <laughs> oh, the book and then they share. You think they do that? Yeah, of course. That's what they did. That's what they do. The police? Yes, the police. Where, where they are the, the leak, came from? They are the ones who leak that that kind of information. Yes, the names came from the police themselves. <laughs> that one we know it very well. That's Even getting those stories where we hear, you remember the Estalungu case where they they abducted someone? Yeah. And then took him to Ed Galungu's house and blah blah blah. Mm. They, got, <laughs> they got their belongings. <laughs> that story initially it came from the police from the police statement. And there you are talking about God Mafia, whatnot. <laughs> and we have mafias right here. God Mafia. <laughs> you reminded me of something that I shouldn't say on the show. Yeah, no, don't, don't please. Anything to do with that, don't. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah, so I just wanted to for us to highlight the importance of us waiting for the police to give us the official statements. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. Uh, and also we know that the three have also been charged with uh, aggravated robbery. Mm. So we can assume putting one and one together, or one and two together, that these are the people who actually participated in the actual thing, the physical thing. Yeah. They are the ones who got the guy and killed him. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, these people still have to go uh, to be proven guilty in the courts of law. So we wait for that. And when it comes out, we'll report to you the way it is. Yeah. yeah. Whether indeed they did it or did not. Mm -hmm. And uh, in another developing story, JJ Banda has, uh, uh, the police have launched a manhunt for JJ Banda who went missing in very 
unusual circumstances. He's gone missing again. <laughs> yeah, this time it's not uh, an abduction, or at least we don't think it's an abduction, <laughs> uh, unless Excuse me. unless it was somehow. But yeah, we don't think it was an abduction. Uh, just to quickly give you a summary of it, because the minister is going to quite comprehensively explain it. Actually, let me let you listen to the minister explain it. Yesterday, in the evening, on the 4th of August, at around 18 hours, two police officers and three correctional officers were guarding him as a routine. At about 21 hours, the police officers were requested I repeat, the police officers were requested by J.J. Banda's wife, going by the name of Lombe Charlie Banda, age 31, that they wanted privacy. For J.J. Banda wanted to use the toilet and also to apply the directions by the medical doctors that he had to submerge in salt water. As I indicated, the two police officers who were in the room together with J.J. Banda's wife acceded to the request that he be given privacy to use the toilet and undergo the routine submission in salt water. After that process was done, the wife called the officers to get back to the room where J.J. Banda was supposed to be. Unfortunately, unfortunately, when the officers went back to the room where J.J. Banda was left with the wife, J.J. Banda was not in the room. Preliminary investigations that have been done by the officers there who are guarding him is that he went out of the room through the window. You know, it's interesting that now we are, the minister is even revealing the details of his illness, so to say. Mm. Uh, was submerging in salt no, water. No, but if I go kick him, why would they? Anyway, yeah, so they, it's it's quite interesting. There's a question I want to ask, but it would be a bit. Can you ask it, please? My father is watching. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's interesting. I think people heard from uh, for themselves how they, if it was a trick, how it happened. Ah, uh, is this the bucket I'm seeing here? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't yeah. expect that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So the minister was informing us of this. Uh, this should have been a Sunday or a Monday. Yeah. He was telling us this happened last night, mm. last evening. Mm. Yeah. And also, I don't know, we have a picture, I think, of uh, the window. It's actually mm. on the first floor. Oh, really? Yeah. So oh, yep, now yep. I'm starting to think of his sickness. How serious is it? Yeah, is it for him as to we, be able to is climb. It as, is it as we see in the videos of him going to court in Ishwam Nyamun? For him to be able to climb the whole window. Yeah. Are you telling me his wife was able to lift him? <laughs> yeah, it, but it, the wife was still inside, by the way. Yeah, she was inside when he yeah, when but he escaped. also important, if yeah. he's really sick. Yeah, but because it, the fact is that also he looks like he's very mm, athletic, so to say. Mm. Yeah, so ni muntanga kwa ni but face flow, anga jump in a jump. But even in the sixth state, because he looks that's like he can't, like he can't walk. Mm. That's why I'm saying that now we are going to be questioning that sickness. You see what I was saying? With even that time when he came out from abduction. Yes. I was saying this is all dehydration. This all this what you're saying. <laughs> it's it's <Yeah>. just dehydration. <laughs> so I don't know what was he being operated on to put water into his system. 
<laughs> yeah. So the other thing, of course, as we are mentioning, the one about salt water and everything, this is another complication. Which salt did... water, it cures the hydration. Yeah. Because mm. <laughs> I'm wondering, why does a guy need to sit in? No, that salt hey, water. My did... father had that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that one, the, 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 the health complication about him sitting in salt water, it. It's, it's got nothing to do with the dehydration or anything. No, I, no, I, I'm, no, I'm of joking. Of course, it's got nothing to do with the abduction. <laughs> yeah, I, I, of course, I'm joking. <laughs> it's an existing illness. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's it's a joke, but, but the, the point is that once you are publicly seen to be going through all these things, mm-hmm. you give people tools to work with. Yeah. People begin to yeah, piece one and two yes, together. And then even things that are supposed to be real in your life become lies. Mm-hmm. So people begin to think, so he was lying about that. When in fact it was true. And when you say that you are sick and you can't walk and then you jump off a window, we begin to wonder, ah, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Another yeah. side of the story to me is that uh, for a long time, it's been looking like the, the state is uh, persecuting it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I did not buy the abduction, as yeah. I earlier stated on this same show. Yeah, but now that the state is bringing up cases, Yakudara, which uh, I think that should be brought back, but the way that it's been, it's happening, the pattern of it, it looks like they are doing it because uh, they are trying to find a fault in him. Mm. They failed to find the fact that their are allegations of him faking the abduction are true. They are failing to find any evidence for that. So yeah. now they need to find something else. Yeah. Yeah. So to me, it looks like it's persecution. Yeah. So perhaps I'm just looking at the other side. Of yeah, the but story. he also didn't care for the officers and the warders that were waiting for him because they were fired. And were they uh, fired? Yeah, they were fired. Okay. And I know that they were being questioned by the police. I didn't know that they were fired. They've been uh, asked wow. to wow. step aside, yeah. and the likelihood is that they will not get their benefits yeah. from such. Yeah, because the other thing is that. Uh, I don't think he would have done that alone. Since yeah. he's in police custody. Yeah, so it I, had to be arranged. Yeah, it had to be arranged somehow. Yeah, yeah, that's that's quite sad. Uh, we hear from the police inspector general for the first time on the show. Uh, I, I would like to believe so. I think we always listen to police statements from spokespersons. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the IG... Gra- How do you pronounce his name? Grafil Msamba. Grafil Msamba mm-hmm. um, did give his comments on the said issue take yeah, a look the, yeah by the way sorry he was with the with the correction zambia correctional services uh commissioner as well okay frederick yeah frederick Chirukut. okay so yeah uh take a look the community means has an obligation to talk to us about the whereabouts of uh honorable jj banda we mean well and he knows that we mean well is been running away from the truth. We've been looking forward to the truth, even about his background, the uh, case of abduction. We've been looking for the truth. Nothing but the truth <laughs> has always divided us, and uh, we don't know what is behind you know, his diversion. But responsible members of the public should talk to the police. We are the law enforcers on behalf of the community, the state, as it were. But because we didn't have specialized services, it was prudent that is brought to a bigger and better hospital for his medication, which is the right of every person in incarceration. So as we do that, there is always somebody who is supposed to look after somebody who is in a hospital, a prisoner, an inmate, a guard must be there, or a warder, or a police officer. Those mentioned were on duty to guard the inmate. So, from what we have seen and has been mentioned, he alluded. So obviously, if you have heard the Honorable Minister mention about him being in custody, is that that's a procedure. They were on duty. There was negligence on their part. Yeah, so that's the sad part. These guys are in custody. Uh, actually, the, 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 the Minister of Home Affairs, Mr. Jack Wimbo, I remember hinted on uh, the fact that they could have been in on it. How could he have just 
gone under their nose just like that. Uh, and the wife, of course, who lifted him up the window. <laughs> the wife who lifted him. Oh, <laughs> quite <laughs> but they speak the general what he was saying. I was willing to yeah, it was, his point. It was what what do they say? You on Netflix when they are when there's words that you can't hear, inaudible. Oh, yeah, he was a bit inaudible. He was talking about the abduction and what 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 he's been elusive and what mm, running away from the state and everything. And how did you find himself there? The, the IG? Mm. Oh, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> that was short notice. <laughs> maybe he was already you know, on oh, the Eastern yeah, Province. Maybe, yeah. Mm. Although it doesn't seem like one of those uh, detectives who would uh, get to the bottom of things. <laughs> <laughs> Entertainment purposes. <laughs> Please do subscribe, hit the bell, and share. If you like the show, subscribe, share. Let someone know about Amazing Minds. Exactly. Yeah. So that has been, uh, that is what's going on with JJ. Of course, we'll give you uh, further updates. This is only season one, as you can see by cover here. Uh, yeah. So JJ Schofield will be back with season two. We'll tell you. Uh, also, it's suspected. I think the, the minister did mention that he's not, they don't think he's too far, right? The... Yeah, oh, here. sorry. Yeah, just... uh, yeah. N n not the video we played you, but the one we're about to play you. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, uh, and his wife is still in custody. Yes, and his wife is and yeah. his wife is in detention right yeah. now. As Ms. we are recording, this, we don't know by the time it will be released. Maybe she will be released as well. Yeah, but, exactly. Uh, it's interesting. And the wife, did I see at Lombe? Yeah, Lombe Charlie. Lombe <laughs> so yeah, she's uh, to not one of. His wives. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so Mr. JJ is a wanted man, and there's a bounty on his head, two million kwacha. Um, someone asked, saying, um, with the police posts we see, can they really produce two million kwacha? <laughs> That's an interesting question. Yeah, yeah like, because how do you expect to go and pick up two million kwacha from a police post that doesn't have a ceiling? They need to <laughs> fix their roof. Yeah, to me, actually, if they really have this two million for this case, it, it, it's... It's actually insulting. Yeah. If you go to material police camp, you look at the police houses there. Yeah. It's, it's very sad. Like, why would you honestly and offer this, two million kwacha? Imagine. So it's either they, they are lying, they are not going to give you this two million. Yeah. Or if they have it, then they are misusing money. Exactly. And we're just about to give you JJ's whereabouts. So we will tell you if they'll <laughs> give us the two million kwacha. Uh, yeah, just stay tuned. At the end of this, the last video, it uh, shows you us finding JJ. Just there. there <laughs> I, I saw very funny memes. Yeah. I saw Pompey to say it. So take it. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get a Pompey. down payment. I saw another meme of someone. Akumamo. <laughs> then I come back. After Akumamo black label. Manji. Akuko. Rabai. Nyo. 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 Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, but people went to town with this. Yeah, that's I feel, okay. I feel happy actually that I belong to a country that takes such things. Oh yeah, yeah, jokes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's so funny. And um, uh, show's favorite, Mr. Mwetwa, gives yeah. his statement on the uh, same. No, give us us the, telling us that uh, JJ, they know where he is. So why are they also asking for, <laughs> asking for people to find him to give a two million when they know that he's just in the vicinity? I know, right? He tells us they don't know where he is while telling us they know where he is. <laughs> so uh, listen to Mr. Mwetwa explain to us where JJ is. Currently, Emmanuel J. Banda is believed to be hiding within traceable vicinity, or in other words, within neighborhoods where he may easily be brought back into law of custody of the state so that the wheels of justice can continue in motion to their terminal conclusion. I also like to indicate that uh, one of Emmanuel Banda's wives is presently undergoing interrogations by the police relating to the aiding of the flight of Emmanuel Banda. 
of AD. His, uh, flight. <laughs> his flight from the window. He flew to the ground. I hope he did not land on his wound. <laughs> yeah. Right after dipping it in salt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's exposed. <laughs> I know, right? Now we know you need to dip in salt. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Oh yeah, and um, um, we will keep giving you updates on the Said case exactly. um, as it unfolds. And if possible, we'll give you updates during the week, very short and quick updates, if possible. Yeah. Yeah. Um, on the bright side, uh, a slight um, increase in the <laughs> <laughs> on the bright side, <laughs> a slight increase in the cost of living. The JCTR are giving us a report that. Um, an observed increase in the basic needs and nutri- nutrition basket uh, survey stands at 10,000 uh, kwacha, 10,575 kwacha, reflecting a 133.48 increase compared to the month of June. So, yeah, there has been an increase. Wait, 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 wait. That's an increase in the cost of living? Yes. Oh, 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 oh. Did I just see on the bright side? <laughs> Someone's uh, laughing. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> We've gotten used. We've gotten used to so, things so increasing. Why is he saying that? Maybe I, I know. Like, increase in Kangon. You know, now increase, we increase is supposed to be a positive thing. Generally. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah. So when you say increase, <laughs> ah, negative. Yeah, negative. I'm a chef for a family of five. You need 11 pins. So. Ah, that's why people are delaying to marry. <laughs> wow, like. uh, hey, how can you marry like this? <laughs> but I still miss you, right? This this side that you know the Lord is coming. Oh, by the way, Bible talks every Friday. The Lord is coming, and in the and when the Lord comes in the new world, there'll be no marrying or giving in marriage. So you are trying to r- rush to do it, and on the other side, they're telling you, oh, there's an increase of one fifty three. If you want to know more about the new world, marrying, remarrying, Bible please do watch Bible talks. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, there's been a slight increase. Uh, we don't want to get into too much details about that, but uh, yeah, 133.48 uh, increase in the cost of living. We do know also that this past month they increased fuel back to 34 kwacha. Uh, we showed it to you last week actually. So yeah, be strong. Yeah, be strong. And maybe now on the brighter side. On the brighter side, yeah. Muzala <laughs> Samkonga. Yay. Can you play that Yay. <laughs> yeah, so we had our first uh, Olympic medal in 28 years. Yeah. Yeah, although when there's a government, we must certain it's in the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the last person to win uh, a medal was uh, uh, at the Olympics was Samuel Matete. Mm. Yeah, in uh, 1996. Yeah. Yeah, I think that, that, was, that, that was in Tokyo or something. Yeah. Samuel mm. Matete was great, actually. He was also doing 400 meters hurdles, though. Okay. Yeah, he was also great. At is some he point, still alive? Yes. Oh, he Samuel is. Samuel Matete is still okay. alive. Yeah. Okay. At some point, actually, Samuel Matete was uh, well known, even at the Olympic in 1991. I wasn't there, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Why did I say that? <laughs> yeah, but in 1991, he. You mean he wasn't at the Olympics? Oh, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, budget. <you. laughs> Yeah, so in 1991, he won the, the gold medal. Yeah. The 400 meter hurdles. And the way. Oh, wait, gold. The, it was gold. gold. Yes, yes. Oh, nice. That is 91. Ah. That wasn't the last minute. Do we have like an old clip of people uh, laughing? Like, you know, that clip we just played for clapping, but old. I thought you'd say an old okay. video of Samu Matete winning the 1991 because that's how I know it is there. We have a footage. It's there. Samu. Yeah, but you know what? I was asking about that. Mm. Can you guys please find that? Because I wanted to like play old people clapping since it's. Uh, <laughs> I hear you. You understand, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, in quarterly news, <laughs> Mr. Membe has been arrested. <laughs> uh, this happens every quarter. We had, we reported last quarter he was arrested. Was that last quarter? There was a there was a time we reported him being arrested. Yeah, it should be last quarter. Yeah, last quarter he was arrested. Uh, if I remember well, along with Sean Tembo, uh, Sean Tembo who has relatively been quiet lately. Yeah, relatively. Yeah, relatively. I don't follow his page anyway, so I I don't see what he says. <laughs> I was but blocked myself. So you are blocked. That's why we are saying that. Yeah, <laughs> of course, a long time. Ago. <laughs> yeah, so uh, he has been relatively quiet, but Mister Membe has been arrested. Um, and uh, listen to his 
funny speech. Good morning, Mr. President. Good morning, how are you? Very well. Thank Any you. Any idea why you have been caught here, sir? I don't know. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> you know, sometimes after I watch a, a clip like that, I just feel like, you know, what are we doing? <laughs> like, let's go. <laughs> I don't know. Who does that? <laughs> who does that? <laughs> wow. <Well, laughs> very excited. Do, yeah. <laughs> is I don't know. Any, any idea why you've been calling? I don't know. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, that's yeah. that's that's funny. Yeah, so that's he was funny. later arrested. Of course, we hear from <laughs> we hear from the police as to why he was arrested. Yeah, uh, we don't want to preempt, but uh, maybe we can just hear from his vice president after he was arrested, yeah. telling us the other reason why he was arrested. Yeah, you say it's a, it's almost intuitively in this government when you talk about <laughs> them, when you criticize them, especially yeah. when it borders on corruption, mm. it's almost intuitive that you'd be arrested. No, sir, we are still here. <laughs> We've given you three parts exactly. of corruption in the UPND being laid bare, <laughs> and we're still here. It's how you say it. <laughs> Where you say it and to whom you say it. And the fact that you don't mention this for entertainment purposes. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very important part. Yeah. The most important part. Exactly. Mention in your rallies. <laughs> Guys, this rally is for entertainment purposes only. Vice President. Now, my dear comrades, in Zambia today, any criticism of government is going to be ganked up. Mm. Any criticism, especially what that deals with corruption, becomes uh, sort of very difficult for the government to deal with. And their immediate, almost intuitive reaction is, let's get somebody arrested. <laughs> their almost intuitive reaction. Yeah. So anyway, maybe let me just uh, preempt a bit why he was arrested. Yeah. It was, but I know the police because I don't want to mention the other things of the teachers or the police mm, in the mm, office. Mm, mm. Yeah. But he was arrested because of an article that he posted mm. on his page uh, about uh, the Shisekedi, who is the president of DRC. Yeah. Apparently, Shisekedi met uh, Catholic bishops in Congo. Yeah. And then he was sort of furious about something then he was telling because uh, also the catholics there they provide some kind of criticism to the government so when he sat down with them he sort of was telling them to say uh, you can't gain sympathy from anyone in the region because we've already paid people around <laughs> we've already paid the 20 million dollars to zambia uh -huh. so can be what now the zambians will not help you so this is what they are saying that eh, they've arrested men before. Mm. Yeah. So instead of them coming out to refute the allegations, they know how to mm. arrest. They instead arrested him. Yes, and charged him for whatever we're going to hear Ray Hamonga say. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, when he was arrested, and by the way, I think this is important. I should mention this that he spent the weekend in the in police custody. Mm. Yeah. I don't know by the time we'll be seeing this, maybe you'll be released. But he was arrested on a Thursday. Mm. And the police has got this thing of they like dilly darling. It was yeah. an issue of the sureties and what, what, what. Yeah. They were dilly darling until if you kept a Friday, so that they should make an excuse to say on Saturday and Sunday we cannot release you because we'll be off in charge. Yeah, yeah. So Membe has been there from Thursday. And his uh, son tried to see him, right? Yes, on, on, on the same Thursday, I think, in the evening. Yeah. yeah. And there were complications with. Uh... Ah, sir, you've seen. Hey, like what you see? I know you do. Hit the button below to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Ciao.